Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy. So today I'm joined by a very special guest. Hi guys, I'm Elaine. And today we have a really exciting video for you guys because we will be sharing our luxury bag collection. Show you guys all of the pieces that we have collected so far. So yeah, I guess we both started being interested in luxury pieces around the same time and then we finally made the decision to Fake start collecting. Purchase. Yes. So we actually had the same brown like little tote bag from Forever 21. <laughs> the OG. The OG. And then our first ever luxury bag. Um, Gucci Dionysus wallet on chain. Mm -hmm. So I got the black uh, lining interior so when i was in the store they only had the black one or the red interior and i didn't really like the red it was too bold for me at the time for my first purchase so i went with the black so i got this as my 21st um coming of age type of gift from my mom this is a two-year-old bag and it's still pristine like i've used this bag honestly to death and i kind of just toss it around um but it's still in really good shape like everything from the outside to the inside like no scratches no stains or anything and i'm really rough so i got i think this color that i got is actually in the original like a tan inner color i don't know i feel like this is like the classic the basic um color combination mm -hmm. that the dionysus came with so this bag comes with the tiger antique silver hardware and it has the classic uh gg supreme canvas print so it's not actually leather on the outside, but the no. lining on the inside is leather. My next bag is this one, which is the Chloe Small Fay backpack. And this is my most used bag because it's just so versatile and casual. Um, this one's in black. It has the suede and kind of like a top grain smooth leather. And the interior is very spacious, has like a zipper pocket and then also like an open kind of like a flat pocket right here. And also it matches with any type of jewelry you're wearing because it, uh, the hardware is actually a mix of gold and silver. So it's kind of cool, like you can just wear anything you want with it. And the straps are detachable. So if you want to detach it, you have the option with the hooks right here. Um, and you can also take away this top handle strap, but I just leave it on because it's like another little statement. I think I like it when it's like, when you use it with just like the shoulder strap. This one? Yeah, I think yeah. it's like a very classy. and so. Black and gold is actually just, I think it's a very classic combination. It really is. Yeah. It says free. And the Chloe is, bag is free. <laughs> this, this backpack, you guys, is free right now <laughs> on the Chloe website. So my next bag is also a black and gold color combination, and it is the, the Gucci Mini Mermont. This is my second piece in my collection, and it comes with a gold chain that you can wear it in multiple ways. You can pull it where you can, you know, wear this as like a shoulder bag. And then also like a crossbody bag. <laughs> so I actually got this bag. No, my friend got this bag for me in Hawaii when she was traveling. And in Hawaii, you actually get a discount on like a lot of like luxury pieces. So I got this bag for $500 less than like the retail price That's on good. the mainland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the back of this bag, it is a super cute heart print and the clasp opens at the bottom of the, the strap right here and then inside oh, i have some stuff in here but inside it's just like this one big spacious compartment um in this nude print canvas material and it also comes with a back pocket so i guess you can store your card your phone and stuff like that so and honestly like it's really yeah. spacious for a mini bag i know i don't know why they call this a mini bag because this is actually 
pretty big. Yeah, like you can you can put your phone, your wallet, yeah. definitely multiple pieces of makeup if you want, mm -hmm. and probably yeah. more things. Yeah, but you have to be careful though because, like the Chloe bag she mentioned earlier, like the inner lining is also like very like light in color, so that will get like dirty yeah. pretty easily. You should get a Tide pen. I need a Tide pen. <laughs> All right, so my next bag is this cutie. It's very structured. Um, this is a Paco Robane. I'm not sure exactly the name because I can't find this bag anywhere online anymore. It's probably discontinued. Yeah, so it's either called the Iconic Bucket Bag or it's called the Vegetable Dyed Leather, <laughs> what's it called, Hobo Bag? Yeah. Yeah, according to Nima Marcus. So it's one of those two names and I got it in this, um, light cream and white color and the strap is super thick. I like the strap a lot. Yeah, and it, I feel like it just makes this bag super unique. Um, and fun story, this is entirely leather by the way. It has a little drawstring pouch on the inside which is nice because sometimes um, with bucket bags they're kind of just like open, out in the open and like you can just see everything inside but this one actually has a drawstring mechanism so you can close it up for more privacy and it's super duper spacious this is how it looks like on the inside and there's a little zipper compartment as well um so fun story this bag actually got ran over <laughs> By a car. I think you told me that. Before. Yeah, it ran. It got ran over by a car, and wait, how is this still so new? If, if a car <laughs> ran over it, so I actually <laughs> got it repaired. Um, most of the bag, it, it was like super surprising, but the entire bag was actually still structured um, after the car accident, and I just had one crack like right here on one of the tan. Like you can't even tell which one it is because they did a really good job repairing it. So my next piece, it is the YSL Toy Lulu in black and silver. This is in 100% cowskin leather. Um, I think this bag, it's like the softest bag that I own. Can I touch it? Yeah. It's like, it's so soft and buttery. I love it this really bag is. so much. So this bag actually reminds me a lot of the Chanel Square Classic mini bag. Um, so if you guys are like on a budget and you don't want to like splurge on a Chanel bag, I would budget. Def yeah. <laughs> definitely recommend getting this bag if you are thinking about starting your luxury collection. And I really like how structured it is despite being the yeah. leather like super soft. Yeah, you don't have to like, you know how when you store bags you have to like stuff like clothes or whatever in there mm -hmm. to keep it in shape, but th it's not a problem with this bag because I think I've had this for over a year now. This was my Christmas gift to myself <laughs> last year. Uh -huh. And to this day, this bag still stands like perfectly. It, it honestly looks like a perfect rectangle it's a square. <laughs> it's a square, yeah. yeah. And then on the back, it's just a chevron print with their um, kind of like the white quilted logo in the back. And inside, is super spacious so it has four compartments on the inside front compartment in the middle flap they also have a compartment in the back that can zip up so so when i wear this bag i feel like i don't have to be very mindful with it because it's a very sturdy and structured bag i don't have to worry about it getting all scratched up it's just a very carefree bag in my opinion so the next bag is going to be a big boy. Here it is. This is the Balenciaga Blackout City um, large bag in the color black. So I'm pretty sure this is calfskin and it's a smooth uh, leather. This bag honestly is my biggest bag. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't wear it that often just because of its size. Um, but it's very handy bag when you're traveling. And a school it, bag or like a yeah. work bag too. Yeah, it, it holds, it doesn't hold um, my laptop 
It's like a little bit. Really? Yeah, it doesn't. Like the laptop will come out. But here. maybe like an iPad or like the iPad Pro. iPad work. definitely. It holds my yeah. iPad uh, for school and stuff. And I used it for like my last semester in undergrad um, for a while. Everything is like kind of matte and grungy looking. So you can see the zipper here is this like vintage tarnished kind of matte um, type of metal. And on the inside over here, it's a magnetic closure on the handles. So you can kind of like mm. have it for easy access. I like that part. I yeah. like the magnetic closure. And then this is the zipper. It has two long strips of leather and you can zip it closed. But honestly, this zipper doesn't work super duper well. Like it's very hard to open and close. So I just leave it open and I use the magnetic closures on the inside it's a giant compartment you guys can see that oh my gosh this is huge that's a huge <laughs> so there's this bag well for my next bag is actually my most recent purchase it is the Fendi bucket bag i love this bag so much i've been trying to get a top handle bag for a while now and i came across this gem right here I am just obsessed with the classic FF logo print. This is actually a raised um, FF logo print. So you can wear this bag um, in multiple ways. Obviously, you know, using the top handle and wear it on the crook of your arms. Or you can take this top handle off completely and just use the thin um, shoulder strap that it comes with. I actually really like thin shoulder straps like I'm not I don't know I just I just like thin shoulder straps mm -hmm. on my shoulder bag so the leather on this bag is actually very rigid so I actually have like a hard time closing this bag up like you really have to like like try oh <laughs> and like close this hold on it feels like a workout it is a workout <laughs> the workout every time I try to close this bag <laughs> But yeah, so don't underestimate the thing that this bag can hold because this bag actually holds more than my essentials. I only need like my phone, my wallet, and my keys, and that's about it. And on the side of the bag, it actually comes with a kind of like a gold charm with the F logo on it. I just thought that was a really cute touch to this bag, so... Yeah, my newest addition to my family. How? <laughs> why do I, why don't you have a towel? Why? Because the next bag here is super duper soft and it loses its shape really easily. So I have to take like extra care of it. This is the classic Fendi peekaboo bag in red. Um, I have the small size and it has the silver hardware. This leather is probably one of the softest leather I've ever touched or really held feel. it's super soft yeah that is soft it's so soft and it's actually very scratchable mm -hmm. so um if I, delicate it's so delicate right if i don't <laughs> put like towels in the compartments it'll just flatten and it'll get creased you can see like a little bit of creasing like right here so that means i need to stuff it more but it has two compartments with the classic kind of um what do you call this like a turn lock mechanism yeah so you just turn it like that it's like a twist lock and the compartments are really spacious so that's what it looks like on the inside it's very spacious and you have a little card holder. It's like a mirror compartment, like right. left and right. On that side, and then on this side, you have a zipper compartment. So you can kind of put different things on each side. It comes with a thin strap, so you could wear it as a crossbody. Um, but I honestly, I love this as a top handle bag. It's <laughs> perfect for the holiday season coming up. It really is. Yeah. And I've had this bag for quite some time already. Um, I think this is a two year old bag and I bought this pre used. So it was like previously owned, um, but it's still in like really good 
condition i just need to wipe it down every now and then of like dust um and whatnot but overall a really good bag and holds a lot of things yeah i think the fendi peekaboo is just one of their most classic yeah. style of bag so. and they came out with like the new peekaboo which is more structured and that one honestly is adorable too but like I don't know, something about the original peekaboo, it's like yeah. chubby and classic. soft and it's just so classic, I love it. Okay, so the last bag that I have to show is my most recent purchase. This is the Celine Nano Bucket Bag. Um, I have it, they have two types of leather. So this is the smooth calfskin leather and then they also have a grained leather, which I actually wanted more, but they didn't have any in stock. The grain one is just more sturdy um, and less resistant to scratches compared to this one. It's more like smooth and kind of buttery and soft. This bag is so adorable. It's really cute. It's yeah, very structured. Um, it has the silver hardware and I don't think I mentioned the color, but it's in the light gray color. It's honestly adorable for summertime. I feel like this is the perfect summertime bag. It's very light, airy. Does the buckle do anything or is that just for decoration? I honestly think it's for decoration because I have it on the tightest um, notch right now and it's still like this. So this is the size comparison between her Fendi uh, and the Celine bag here. But as you can see, they're both like honestly with any type of bucket bags, despite it being bigger or smaller, you can fit so much things in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah. With this being the nano size. Yeah, and mine is in like the mini big. size. Yeah, it's pretty big. So, yeah. So cute. I think I think the thing with bucket bag is that I think it looks so much better when you're holding it by hand. Definitely. Instead of with like the shoulder strap. So. Yeah. And also because it's just a bulkier style yeah. of bag. So it's kind of awkward if you have it like cross body or like over your shoulder and it's just like this big thing you know, kind of on the side and it kind of bulges yeah. out yeah. of your body. So. Yeah, I think bucket bags is definitely like a statement piece. Yeah. It's so cute. <laughs> you think we're done, but we're not. <laughs> so now we're moving on to our small leather goods. Right here, I have a Louis Vuitton Victorian wallet in monogram. And I got it in the pink color on the so inside. So cute. I actually really like how many card holder this one has. Um, it's just a very compact wallet that you know I use every day. I just have one small leather good and I've been using it for her at least two or three years now. It is the Prada uh, bifold wallet. I got it in silver. I just kind of, I was kind of mesmerized by it um, when I was in the store and it's so nice because it has a little pocket right here for you to put coins even though you don't really need it now because of the <laughs> coin shortage. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it has three, I guess like four um, little card holders. I just stack my cards in here because there's not really enough space and then i have all of my stamp cards on this side stamp cards are very important uh -huh. they help you save money <laughs> they do and then the actual part to put cash and i just have like a 20 dollar bill in there this yeah sad. but yeah this is the silver um i got it in the grained calf skin um so it's very resistant even though this wallet has seen some days it really needs to be cleaned i think that's the biggest part but i'm just scared to clean it because it is this silver color um i'm afraid of taking the color yeah. off or something i feel so. like this one with like your red fanny bag you're like so christmas ready i know i really <laughs> am so yeah guys, that concludes all of our luxury collection. Um, we are really new luxury collectors, like mm -hmm. we're only like two years in yeah. and I think we did some damage to our wallet already. <laughs> so like 
we've wanted these styles for a while and like i'm pretty sure a lot of people you know they have like their little wish list um, yeah. building yeah. and so like these are just some of the items that we've collected crossed off. crossed off our list even though the list just gets bigger every time <laughs> we cross something off so thank you guys so much for watching this video we really appreciate your time so yeah this is our luxury collection video with my vff um, i'm just so fortunate enough to be able to share this experience with a best friend i think we both have came a long journey in collecting our luxury stuff until next time i will see you guys in my next video bye guys, bye guys.